Okay, so for today, we're going to take a look at the chapter of sports and games, right, that we'll be taking a look at, right, from the uh, the textbook, right, uh, that we have been using, right? Uh, so for today, uh, we'll be taking a look at the seven sports bidding for a place in the summer of 2020 Olympics, right? And so it would have been the the GC textbook, right, would have been, it would have been the addition right before the game would have been canceled, right, due to the recent uh, pandemic with Corona, right? But we'll be uh, taking a look at what would have been some of the sports that would have taken place, right, if the, uh, if the Olympics would not have been canceled, right? would have been postponed right to the later year. And so uh, I'll be reading through the passage right that we have uh, with the different uh, sports that they'll be describing about, right? And uh, we'll enter the questions as we follow along and we'll have discussion questions at the end, right? In order for us to talk about some of our favorite sports and our uh, interactions with the sports as well, right? Okay, so let's get started with the, uh, with the article that we have. Uh, so the seven sports uh, bidding for a place in the summer to, of uh, the year of 2022 Olympics, right? Each Olympic Games, we see some sport disciplines being dropped or reinstated and some completely new ones being introduced. In February 2013, the International Olympic Committee met its uh, headquarters in Lausanne, Switzerland to decide which of the seven sports initially applying to take part in the 2020 Tokyo uh, Summer Olympics should be included. Let's take a look at these sports which are hoping to join the other Olympic disciplines, right? The seven sports that would have taken place if it would have uh, happened this year, right? So the uh, first sport would have been, uh, first uh, in line would have been inline speed skating, right? So uh, inline skate uh, so let's take a look at the descriptions that will follow, right? So uh, inline skating evolved from roller skating. The sport is believed to have its root, roots in Northern Europe, where during warm months, frustrated ice skaters miss skating on ice, right? So inline skating has recently become extremely popular in urban areas thanks to its health uh, benefits with inline skating, you can burn as many calories as with running, but the sport is much gentler on your joint. Inline skaters race either on roads or on track circuits, and the races are very similar to cycling. The annual World Championships includes races that range from 200 meters to a marathon. If the Olympic bid is successful, the races would range from 300 meters to 15 kilometers, but would exclude the marathon, right? So that would have been the first, right, sports that would have been described. Okay, so we'll take turns in the class, right, to be uh, reading through the different sports that we have, right? So secondly, it would be karate, right? Japan has given us this very, a very popular type of martial art. The competition consists of two participants trying to score points using a range of techniques, such as uh, kicks, sweeps, and punches. The two competitors fight on a special mat called a tatami, and they try to target the opponent. The part of the body they can strike is anywhere above the belt except the throat. The judges then award points based on, for example, the correct distance between the two competitors, their sporting attitudes, timing, application of techniques, and etc. Despite its popularity worldwide, karate has not been an Olympic discipline in the past and has been rejected three times before, right? It's a, uh, it's a rather, uh, rather uh, sort of uh, a uh, famous sort of uh, 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 sport for many of the Eastern countries, right? Uh, uh, would have been uh, recently sort of adopted, right? Or recently tried out for the Olympic Games. Okay, so the next sport that we have would be softball and baseball. Historicals, historically, softball was based on baseball, so naturally there are some similarities to this sport. For example, they both use a bat and a ball. Despite the name softball, the ball is quite hard, and it is also bigger than the one used in baseball. The bat used in softball is shorter, and the game is played on a pitch that is smaller than a baseball pitch. The Olympic bid is a joint one for both sports. However, this wouldn't be the first appearance of these sports at the Olympics. Women's softball was part of the games between 1996 and 2008, but was dropped from 2012 
games together with men's baseball. So men's, uh, men's baseball has a longer Olympic history with its first entry in 1904. Since then, it has appeared as the game several times to become reinstated. Men's baseball has to tackle one obstacle, the absence of professional players. This uh, factor is vital to its success in the Olympic bid. Right, and so a little, uh, a little bit about the differences between softball and baseball would have also have been outlined here as well that we would have taken a look at. Uh, and the next sport that we have would be sport climbing, right? So sport climbing is a type of rock climbing, but the difference is that permanently fixed anchors are used so that climbers don't have to worry about fixing these to the wall while climbing. For this reason, the risk of falling is greatly reduced and the climbers can focus on the performance side of the climb and, they, and try to get as high as possible. This is a relatively new sport and enthusiasts, enthusiasts are hoping it will be an Olympic discipline in the near future, right? So we would have been talking about sport climbing, which is a type of rock climbing, right? That we would have learned about. Uh, squash has a long history. So the next sport in line that we have would be squash, which has a long history. It is thought to have existed in various forms for about 140 years. The game can be played by two or four players who have to take it in turns to hit a small hollow rubber ball with a racket. The aim is for the ball to hit the front wall below a marked line. If a player misses the ball, the opponent scores a point, right? Okay, so that would have been squash, right? Very similar to uh, tennis in some ways, right? The World Squash Federation has been trying to make squash an Olympic discipline since 1992. The sport failed to gain inclusion in the 2012 London Olympics. History repeated itself when it lost its bid to rugby and golf for the 2016 Olympics in Rio, right? So different sports would be trying to uh, win bid in, during the Olympics, right? And uh, they would have to win the bid in order to be included in the during the Olympics, right? And uh, what have been included in certain years, excluded in other years, right? That we would have been able to take a look at as well. Uh, the next uh, sports that we have would be wakeboarding. So wakeboarding developed from water skiing in Australia in the in the 1980s, right? The participant uses a board called a wake, which is often powered by a boat, but it can also be pulled by a cable system or trucks. The participant slides across water while performing a series of acrobatic moves like jumps and flips. The Olympic bid is for uh, cable wakeboarding, and as the name suggests, cables attached to machines are used to pull a maximum of nine riders. Each of these riders then has to perform a variety of, of tricks without falling. Wakeboarding enthusiasts claim that they have been trying to get this exciting sport included in the Olympics for the past 40 years, right? Uh, the next uh, uh, would have been right part of the word water skiing, right, that we would have read about. Uh, the next sport that we have would be wushu, right? So it would be very competitive, not just in terms of the sports, but whether these sports get into the Olympic Games, right? Uh, the next sport that we have would be a type of martial art that comes from China. And at po one point, Kung Fu and Wushu were co considered the same sport. However, Wushu has developed into a com combination of performance and martial arts. In Wushu, the emphasis is on speed, power, and natural movement. Wushu competitions are held in main categories, the moose and taolu, and the full contact fighting called sanda. Only the former is proposed for the 2020 Olympic grid. It is also the category in which participants are allowed to use a sphere, spears and swords. Participants perform their routine and awarded points, but these are deducted from for any mistakes that appear during the performance. One of the most famous Wuju practitioners is Jet Li, who went on to become a film star. Among his most successful films are Romeo Must Die and The Expendables, right? So it's uh though uh it's still not mentioned directly here in the uh in the 
uh, passage itself, right? Uh, sport is used to uh, as a way of uh, people for the tradition and the cultures to be getting together, right? The country sort of to be uh, practicing a healthy type of competition, right? And also to matter as a community, right? To build up the sense of community, right? For every uh, group or every uh, sort of community would try to build upon, right? Through the use of sports and also internationally as well, right? With the different countries coming together, right? Uh, sort of uh, uh, practicing or uh, uh, taking part in a sort of healthy competition, right? Healthy sort of uh, uh, collaboration, uh, uh, working together uh, as well, right? That would be part of the spirit of Olympic Games and uh, the spirit of sports as well, right? Okay, so let's take a look at what are some of the words that we could be taking a look at here. Right, the word reinstated, what does the prefix re mean, right? Inline speed skating, softball, baseball, sport, climbing, squash, right? So we'll take a look at them during class that we'll be taking a look at. And uh, so why is the inline skating a good way of keeping fit, right? Which part of the body is not allowed to hit during a karate competition, right? So we'll take a look at them as we answer the questions, right? As we follow along uh, in class, right? Uh, what which type of wushu uses weapons, right? These will be all answered during the class, right? That we'll be following along. And uh, we'll also mention, right? Uh, we'll also have a class discussion about what is your favorite sport, what's your least favorite sport, right? Explain your opinion, right? Uh, is your country good at this sport? What sport is most popular in your country, right? Can you think of any sports that are unusual in your country, right? Uh, do you like team sports? or the unusual so do you like team sports do you take part in the sport yourself if uh if there is one uh how often and which one right so we'll talk about right uh, how can young what can young people so what, what can we learn from participating in sport what sports are practiced do we think we have enough time for physical education at school why or why not right so we'll uh, take a look at these questions, right, uh, as we uh, discuss about the topic of sports, right, as we cover it in class next week.